In this video, I'm going to show you how the right-click menu works. So you click on the right button of the mouse and you will have a list here of operations that you can do. Now you can see right now that these patterns are green but they are not selected. I'll select one now and I say copy, I'll get a copy. If I say delete, it will delete the selected one. If I say undo, it will undo that delete. If I say redo, it will redo that delete. I can flip vertical, horizontal. Many of these tools are available up here as icons as well. You can also see listed on the right where it says control C or delete, control Z. These are shortcuts that are available on the keyboard if you prefer using your keyboard. Reverse so pattern center will give us a, a center mark there on the pattern. To add a push pin, I can do it by clicking here. I could also click on the sew head and it will give us a push pin. Oh, I have lock, Q, DQ. This is a great place to come in here and Q the pattern or DQ the pattern. It's a real quick right click, DQ, or Q if you want to um, sew it. I can also uh, do a select all. That can be very useful as well. So when you select all, it will all selected. And so when I copied, I got both patterns copied. Now the last one on here is called Open Group Manager. And I'm gonna click on that. The Group Manager is this window here that gives you access to see what you have on your, on your screen here. And it can be very, very useful. Now, I didn't talk about it, but right here I have these push pins so I can select them. And right now they are dequeued and locked. If I wanted to change that, I can say dequeued. I could say all of those different options, queued and unlocked. And you'll see they turn green and they are ready to be sewn. So you can always access all the different patterns that are on your quilt design screen from this window and it can be very, very useful. You can gain a lot of information about it. If you know it's this one, I can come in here and select this here and it will select the pattern that I wanted. Um, you may find that window very useful as you learn to use it. And that's the right click menu. There are a lot of options there under your right click.